painting project for Shabby Dabby Doodah. This is also a collab with Emily from M. Ephemera's Treasures. And we decided to join in kind of a collaboration to do a little stuffed envelope project using one of the kits from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Now she used um, the Paris and Bloom kit and I had already opened this when I was with her and it doesn't look as good as when she presented it to me, but this is hers and she used uh, the Eiffel Tower here on the front. It's so pretty. She has two tags here that she embossed. Gorgeous. So she's already given me hers, but I'm a little behind on mine. This is like a journaling card. I love these digitals so much. And then she did a little um, paper clip there. And she even brought down an open the middle there. She's got some rhinestones and pearls, lace. I just love if you take all of this out, you could see the full Eiffel Tower there in the middle. This is a gorgeous one that she created. And you can see that it has um, paper that matches. And then this is the paper from the collection. And this as well. Isn't that beautiful? From Shabby Debbie Duda. I will leave the link to both of these kits or to just her store. She added some washi tape here and a little rhinestone there. And all this beautiful trim and pearls that she added here. So soft and delicate and shabby. She also did a uh, tag here with a pretty little paper clip, kind of like a hidden paper clip. And then this little word that says remember on the back. And look at, she put the exploding flowers right there in the top. I thought that was such a clever idea. And then this beautiful ticket that says beauty with a little Tim Holtz paper clip there. And then this cute little booklet she made. And it opens up like this and it has some pages you can journal in. Isn't that so adorable? And then last but not least, she has this little pocket page. Isn't that pretty? And then um, she did this little collage on the back. Oh, it's like an envelope. I didn't even realize that. And then it has a tag in it. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. Thank you so much, Emily, for swapping with me. She is going to get this, but by the time this video goes up, she will already have it. Okay, so now let's look at what I created for her. This is from the Pink Boutique Kit, and you can see um, all the pink florals, like a little boutique. I guess I can start here on the back. I have a little Tim Holtz pocket, and I, I cut up all of the fem ephemera. I, of course, I made it kind of miniature to fit inside this pocket, and I just added a bunch of different little ephemera pieces she can use to collage or create little projects with. And then there's a little tuck spot here if you want to tuck something in there. And in this first little pocket, I have two tags. This is a fold over tag so you can keep journaling private in there. And then this has the little record that I created in the last project. So she can use that for journaling too. She could tuck that in a journal if she's creating one. And then, um, now I covered the paper, uh, covered the, it's like a craft cardstock with the paper and then I gessoed it. Added some lace here and a little bit of collaging and a rhinestone piece in there. And then here is a bookmark, not a bookmark, a paper clip that I altered here. And it's got some dangle on there. And the 
that looks cute there and it keeps this on and this is uh, from the graphic 45 um, die let me get that one well I'm not sure what I did with the dies but it is a graphic 45 die and I it's like this long and I just folded it in threes and then I added some tea dye paper here and I did some stamping in there you can see the beautiful images there and then in here I did another tag and this tag I do have it in front of me this is from Sheena by Sheena Douglas from Crafter's Companion and it's this really large die. So it comes with four different sizes in this one. And um, I made a little shaker tag. So if you can see up close, that's using tool and some pretty sequins. And then I sewed around the edge and I thought that looked so cute. And then I use this paper on the back because you have enough space there for journaling. And it's not too, too much that you can't write on there. So I thought that was really cool. And I love the sparkly bit and the little element of surprise there. And then here I have a pretty wand that I created. There's uh, the papers in the background and I use a doily, a little sticker that says to dreamland Boop, to dreamland <laughs> and then some laces here a little charm dangle there a little flower and then I put a doily on the back and then and one more thing I have in here is just a little booklet made with some avocado dyed papers and I sewed it down the center there added a doily and a fabric doily and a, and a sari silk bow. So that is my stuffed envelope. You can see here that I used a punch on the edge there. I covered the back and the front with the papers from Pink Boutique. So these are all the little goodies that I created for Emily. I hope she likes everything I made. And thank you so much for watching. I will be back soon with another project. Bye for now.